Hello and welcome. In this problem, we've got to factor this term right here, this expression, oh my gosh, this equation right here. Uh, and to do that, we're going to use factor by grouping. And how do, I, how do I recognize that? Well, I notice that we've got x to the third, x to the second, x to the first, and then just a constant term over here. And because I have x to the third power, and because I have the constant term, I can't just factor x out of everything. I can't just say, okay, well, I'm going to pull out an x, right? and multiply everything by x because this 8 has no x factor to it. There's no common factor in all the terms to isolate. So I'm going to try to factor by grouping. The way I factor by grouping is I try to write all the terms in, in power order. So third power, second power, first power. And you could say this is x to the 0 power. So I've got that done. Then I try to look in my pairs. I've got this pair terms and this pair. And I say to myself, is there something I can factor out of both of them? Now, what's usually easiest for me is to actually try to look at the second term, the lower powers, because there's no exponents to deal with. So I think to myself, well, I could factor a 4 out of both terms. And I and that's really great, because there's really only one option here to factor out into 4. So I try to start with the simpler case. Uh, here, there's like, I can factor out an x or an x squared. There's two choices, so there's more options. So it's a little bit confusing. But if I factor out x minus 2, watch what happens. I start by writing the second term as x minus 2 to test it to see, can I factor an x minus 2 out of it? Well, I think, okay, well, what, what times x will get me x cubed? That's an x squared. So I'll put an x squared here, and then I'll see, does that work? x squared times negative 2. There it is, negative 2x. Yes, we've got it. So now our common factor is right here, x minus 2. That's not easy to see without grouping. So now I say, okay, well, if I, if I take x minus 2, and I multiply it by x squared and 4, right, I would have this in factored form. So now, right, I've got this. I've factored it out. And what x values would give me a result of 0? x would equal 2. But over here, it's a little more complicated because uh, if we say x squared plus 4 equals 0, if we subtract 4 on both sides, we're dealing with the square root of a negative number. So x squared is negative 4, so x equals the positive or negative square root of negative 4, which equals the positive or negative uh, square root of negative 1 times square root of 4, which equals the positive or negative i times 2. Right? So, or positive or negative, let me write this way, 2 i's. So, we, so if x is positive or negative 2 i, and also if x is 2, Right, plug them into here, you get a result of zero. All right, I hope this helps.